Let me please introduce the wonderful Andy Moore bringing us day five, sex, date, and fear and rejection. Woohoo! Excellent. Okay, um, so today I am going to, we're going to talk about the empowerment protocol. So we, um, you've, we've already, uh, I'm assuming we've already gone through elements of, uh, you know, we've, we, you all have your foundation. So that this isn't entirely um, new to you. So that's where some of my assumptions are made on today. Okay. Um, so I'm just arranging my screen because I've got things all over the place. So the goal of, of this 25 minute session is to deep dive into empowerment protocol. So we understand why we use it. That's interesting. That's not working. When we use it and how we use it. Okay. Um, so let's start off is it, so what pathologies do we utilize the empowerment protocol have any of you do any of you have thoughts on the pathologies we utilize the empowerment protocol for yep states faded and rejection absolutely and states in fear beautiful and now is there the, how about are there, is there a third one that you guys can think of And states, uh, retro avoiding states. Absolutely, retro avoiding states. Mm -hmm. Now, now the next question is, how can we tell the, uh, how can we tell the difference between those states faded with fear, those states faded in rejection, and those retro avoiding resource states? Mm. This is just a little bit of a recap from what you've done previously. I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. Well, state faded and fear is going to have panic and feel afraid. Absolutely. So it's going to have physical um, emotions. That's right. High levels of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Faded with rejection, it won't feel good enough and it'll be unworthy. All those kind of chestnuts. Absolutely. Fantastic. And the retro avoiding is um, those unwanted behaviours to help mask the unwanted feelings. Absolutely right. That's right. So it's actually when we when when we're dealing with retro avoiding resource states, it's actually a, a, a behavior which has that underlying fear or rejection evaded state, the emotion, and it's actually covering that up. Well done. Thank you all. So in that case, what's what's the what's the purpose of the empowerment protocol? So the empowerment protocol is it's, it's intended to resolve evaded state emotion, okay? Either fear or rejection, okay? Now, in order for that to, for, for a, a, a evaded state emotion to be resolved, that state must become empowered or, or realize or reach the understanding um, uh, that and be left with a feeling of safety, support and care. So it's really, it's looking for that um, insight and that empowerment required for that state to resolve those unwanted feelings. Does that make sense to everyone? Excellent. Yep. Anyone got any questions around that? Okay, so I've got a little exercise for you guys. In fact, I'm actually gonna have to share this because you guys are not gonna be able to here we go. Right. So you're going to have something that comes like this. So what I'd like you to do is just you hit edit in browser. OK, and that's just going to bring up now just if you just type your name in the top corner. OK, and you'll, you'll see down the left hand side, there's there's lots that you can pick. OK, and basically, I'm just going to give you a couple of minutes. And I just want you to arrange the RT actions in the order of uh, to, uh, to resolve a state weight evaded with fear or rejection. So as you can see, I can just move these around, mm -hmm. okay? So just move them into the right order. And there's some bonus points. If you can find the, the RT action that would generally only be used for one, but not the other out of fear and rejection, if you could just, um, if you could just change the color of that by just right clicking on it and, and giving it a different color, okay? And, and this is for the empowerment protocol. 
this is well this is actually for this is actually the entire what we're focusing on at the moment is that the end-to-end um, uh, vaded with fear or rejection protocol and we're going to zoom in on the empowerment protocol in 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 a, in a session in, in a second yeah. okay okay yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, Kirsten and, uh, and uh, Renell, if you want to just shout out, I, can you see my screen still? Yeah, so first you want to put diagnosis. Yep. Then you want to put uh, Vivify specific here at the bottom. Lovely. Then you want to put uh, bridging. Cool. So, yep, the, that one. And then you want to put um, expression, this one at the bottom here. Yeah. And then you want to put um, remove, uh, interject speak. Uh, oh, I know, lost, be with fear. I didn't put interject speak in, did I? No. Aha, <laughs> the trick question, you didn't put it in. I'm so glad. Okay, I like, oh, it's, dear. So it's a fear one. So if it's a fear <laughs> one, you're not going to have interject speak. But yeah. you're going to have removal, hi. Okay, so what do you want me to do with interject speak then? After expression. Yep. Let's say it's a, re a rejection one and then removal. Yep. And then find resource. Oh no, first relief, sorry. First relief. Yep. Then find resource. Then imagery check. That's my. That's the order. Beautiful. So that, then, in terms of bonus points, change the color of the RT action. Which one would you change the color of? Well, if it's for fear, I'll change the color of interject speak. Then. Beautiful. Okay. Now, does anyone have? Does anyone else have a uh, a different order for that? No. All good. Awesome. Well, that's absolutely that's absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Renell. You were put on the spot 100% there, so uh, probably 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 put you on the spot. So, thank you. Okay, so now you correctly identified that we don't we normally only use interject speak for states evaded with rejection. Why why is that? Can has anyone got an idea of why we'd only use them for states evaded with rejection? To gain an understanding of the person. An understanding of what, Chris? The rejecting interject. Beautiful. That's right. And and Chris, have you any idea why you would, that's not something that you do so much with um, evaded with fear? Um, because frightening things we don't need to understand. We just need to get rid of them. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Um, and is are there any any situations where you might use interject speak for a state raided with fear? Yes, if the interject um, or the sorry the evaded state, most likely a, a little evaded state might have a need to understand or un know what is happening, so they might need to um, just ha ha do a little bit of interject speak or need to express something. You know, yep. Yeah, lovely. You. Uh, you, you clearly read the book, Philippa. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what we're gonna do, oh, what we're gonna do now. So we've gone through the process. Most people, may, uh, I think all of you know the process of actually how to do the various um, RT actions, but what I'm going to ask you now is why do we do those RT actions? Okay, what's the intent of those different RT actions from a point of view? What's the issue? What are they actually doing for the for the client? Now, this is where we're going to focus on the steps of expression, removal, or interject speaking. It, this is the it, the the empowerment protocol: uh, expression, removal, relief, and interject speak in the case of aided re re rejection. So what I'm going to ask you is, okay, so if, if expression, so how we do expression, we make it safe by shrinking the interject down and encouraging and supporting the state to, state to express its feelings. 
if appropriate, we can ask the state if you can talk on their behalf if they need the help. OK, now, why do we do that? What's the intent of that action? Shrinking the interject, you mean, or? Or to, to expression. Also, the state is empowered, can say what it needs to say. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Empowered, yeah. I'm actually going to, oh, I see. I didn't think this. I'm going to have to do this like this. That's OK. Can you still, can you still see? Yep. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's right. It's the first step of empowerment. When the resource state is able to say everything it feels to an interject, then it learns that the interject doesn't have any power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does this does this make sense, everyone? Yes. Yep. Great. Fantastic. So, with interject speak, so with evasive rejection, so we we you know. We ask the, the patient to close their eyes and being the best actor you can be, we ask that interject to reflect on what we have, on what they have heard from the evaded state. The, the goal is not to, int to interject, to change the interject, but to hear it for the purpose of understanding. Okay, so from a point of view of the interject speak action five, what, why is that, why is that important? Again, to bring relief or, or to give, bring understanding or empowerment. That is what I would say. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it provides the resource state with, with deeper understanding of the dynamic between it and the introject. So I then not to blame it was the introject that wasn't able to express their love or care well enough. Mm. Okay. How about removal? Anyone want to dis describe how we do removal? Well, you ask the resource that if it wants to keep the impression of the introduct in the inner space or um, want them to clear from the inner space. So. That's that's absolutely that's absolutely right, Renel. And and why why do we do that? What's what's why is that again imp, um, important for the resource state, the the previously evaded resource state? So it knows it has the power. Mm. Absolutely. Yep. That's absolutely right. It empowers that previously evaded state by giving them power of choice and also the ability to clear that specific impression. And also just to maybe say that it's over, you know, it's it's just a... Uh, mm. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, absolutely. First bell, five minutes to go. And and it, the other really important thing here yeah. is that interjects are, are resource state specific. So by removing the interject from one uh, one that one imp impression of an interject from one specific resource state that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to remove it. it it doesn't mean we're going to take it out completely so i i had an example with one of my clients where she um she had reticence about removing um a, 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 an interject of her mother when she was about four when her mother was not in a good place to support her. Um, but when she actually realized that she's not asked, she's not getting rid of her mother, it's just, you know, it's not real. It's just a, a single impression of her mother that that state has at that one time. And it doesn't take away, you know, the, all the goodness that her mother poured into her over time. So it's 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 uh, an interject is 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 specific to a part, okay. nice. and and the final is relief. Oh, I just showed, <laughs> I showed it. You I, did. Got, I got so excited. I showed it to you. So so with relief. So we're bringing that nurturing, caring, resource state of the client to the fragile state to ensure it gets the support and care it so deserves. Um, also, we can do name changing as well. That can also be a really um, uh, empowering and, and powerful um, step for, 
for the uh, previously evaded state. So why, again, why, why is relief so important to the, to, to the success of, of this protocol? It helps the resource state know that it's safe now and that it's, uh, and that empowers it as well. Yeah, and it gives it that unconditional love. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, supported, yeah. Absolutely. Great. Thank you very much, guys. That was that was really good. Um, I I have more, but I didn't show them because it was uh, I'm yeah. So I think we'll just leave it there because I think I'm scraping the 25 minutes anyway. <laughs> You're doing really fantastic. Thank you, Andy. Let's give him a round. Woo!